The Valorant competitive system is supposed to be the steady, tried and true groundwork of the game. But ever since the game's launch, it's been an absolute nightmare, leaving Riot Games with their hands full. We all know things need to change, but what exactly are the problems with Ranked? And is it really something we should be complaining about? Let's talk about it. Before we get into the video, I'm gonna remind you to head over to the Score Esports Shorts channel. Same content you love here, just little. Okay, sympathy for you Jet means y'all deserve your nerf. It's no secret that Valorant has had issues with ranked going all the way back to the closed beta. Riot has been pretty consistent addressing ranked issues within its patches, but ranked is an absolute nightmare still. Just this August, Riot publicly admitted that ranked distribution is not where they would like to see it. They said that the majority of the game's 14 million players are bunched up within silver and low gold. Basically, ranks in Valorant are bottlenecked and lopsided, and Riot would like to see a more normal, even distribution, and they're apparently working on that. The question is, why is it lopsided? You can see how a majority, and in Riot's opinion, an incorrect amount are in lower ranks. Why is this happening? Are people hard stuck? Is it the system? Does Riot have it out for you? Spoiler, they don't. Well, clearly if Riot is telling us that a vast majority of players are stuck in silver and gold, then there's something wrong with the distribution of ranks. Either people who are stomping and absolutely crushing their games or not climbing up fast enough, and us bottom fraggers aren't losing enough RR. Here's to that. Simply put, the ranked system isn't working. The stars should be rising and those who are struggling should be falling. So if you're confused and frustrated with your ranked experience, that is completely understandable. Well, fear not, for I've researched every single patch note since beta and I have very loud opinions as to why ranked distribution is wonky and why ranked, simply put, sucks. And no, I'm not gonna be talking about how we can't pick maps or toxic teammates or whatever this is. You know, you sound like you kind of do uh, taxes. I sound like I do taxes. Yeah. What I'm talking about are game specific issues that you cannot control. Y'all have the ability to shut your mouth and be nice for once, but y'all don't have the ability to control one rank disparity and two smurfs. Are these problems unique to Valorant? Absolutely not. You can take a look at Riot's better game, League of Legends. <laughs> League has a myriad of problems within it, including a huge problem with smurfing. That being said, I do think these problems are uniquely severe in Valorant. The nature of the agents in Valorant make it specifically easy to pub stomp games with. Reyna's kit might as well have been designed to smurf with. In addition to the issues with the agents, there's only one playing field when it comes to ranked games. There's no third party platforms like Faceit and CSGO here. So that means the best players don't have a hyper competitive alternative to ranked to go to. So it's possible that some of those players decide to stop tryharding and start smurfing with their friends for an easier time. So when you have a bunch of Jets and Reyna's insta-locking duelists and you have way too many people in the silver purgatory, that can lead to some nasty ranked experiences. Now with that in mind, let's get to the first big point that I think needs to be addressed. Maybe the reason we have so many silvers is because they're not playing with silvers. Sounds odd, right? Well, that's the Valorant ranked experience. If you're silver two, you probably expect a bronze three to gold one to be in your lobby at your most generous understanding self, which I'm sure all of you are. But it becomes kind of shocking when a plat or even a gold three comes in and carries you or the enemy team. In-game strats become about one player and their much higher skill level rather than their util or their play style or whatever. It is two completely different stories when you say, hey, maybe you shouldn't go B because KJ has her set up there versus, hey, maybe we shouldn't go B because KJ claps us every time. That strategy is specifically only for 100 Thieves when they see Cena with the Zop. And you could tell we were just going away from him. <laughs> we're like, all right, let's find Cena and go the other way. <laughs> That's the strat. Basically, you're either constantly getting clapped or getting carried. There there's no chance for you to show your improved skills. You're just a little ping pong ball. Also, this leads to people who are in silver getting better, but they're not moving up. So they're playing at like a gold or even a plat level, but they're still stuck in silver. This leads us and is somewhat related to our second issue, Smurfs. People Smurf for lots of different reasons. They want to play with their lower level friends. They want to try out new yield tiller, new agents without losing RR, or they want to completely destroy people. To quote someone in a recent PC Gamer article, in all honesty, it was fun as hell smoking people who were new to the game. 
Then there's also the issue of the vicious cycle of smurfing. If you're constantly playing against smurfs, you're gonna get a little frustrated. Eventually for a little relief, you'll create a smurf, then someone else is gonna create a smurf and the cycle repeats and repeats and repeats. In Valorant, smurfing isn't so much a remedy for deadly long queue times like it was when the game first dropped as it is just for having a fun time playing games in lower elos. To me, those are the two major issues in ranked. And the good news is Riot is aware of them. But the question still remains, what can they do about it? Now, despite addressing that Ranked is not in the optimal spot they want it to be, Riot also doesn't want to give into any sort of confirmation bias, meaning they don't want you to think it's their fault that you're hard stuck silver. A Riot dev said in a lengthy Reddit post that neither the game nor any developer is, quote, not here to make a system to give you a free rank you don't deserve, and that they can't solve problems that don't exist. And they're not wrong. I went through every single patch note and competitive has been addressed in not all, but most of them. Specifically in the 3.0 patch, Riot said they wanted to make sure that you were having fun in your ranked games. They said their primary goals were this. We want winning games to matter most at all skill levels. We want to improve individual performance evaluation because we believe it helps identify more fair and balanced matches. We want you to see your rank as an accurate representation of your current skill level. We want you to have fewer motivations for playing on different accounts and to get your proper rank faster. And as for smurfing in Valorant, Riot has addressed them before. In October 2020, they were aware of the problem of smurfs and had deployed strategies to combat them. According to senior producer Ian Felding in October, quote, right now we have a behind the scenes system for unrated as well as one that applies to iron through diamond ranked players. The latter tracks an individual's performance and notices when a player makes a highly disproportionate impact in a game. We then quickly boost them to harder matches and higher ranks in competitive. We stop leveraging the system for immortal players because there isn't a ton of room to smurf or play down or actually already near the top ranks. This is all really great, but as of May 2021, Riot said they were still deep into an investigation about how to deal with smurfs. And actually, according to Riot's data, smurfs are only a small percentage of the population. Pros and experts like our Lord and Savior Shroud think that smurfing is actually not that big of a deal. You just need to get good. Smurfs can be a problem, sure. But I also think the smurf excuse is over, overused. They could truly be the rank that you are at. They are just feeling it. And for some reason, their mouse is just responding to their hand very well. That could happen. Smurfing is an issue, sure, but it's not as big of an issue that everyone makes it out to seem. It's just not. So at the end of the day, why does this all matter? Well, Valorant is a game that over 14 million people enjoy with a variety of different experiences. For some people, it is their first FPS, and for some people, this is the game that they spend hundreds of dollars and hours on. Yeah, it's a free-to-play game, whatever, but you expect a certain kind of experience from it. Clearly, Riot is aware that there are issues with their game, but honestly, shouldn't we expect that? A popular, rather young game that is growing every single day is bound to have issues. Furthermore, Riot has to make sure that every single change they make is fair and bountiful for everyone. And if we're being really honest, guys, Riot is one of the few developers that actually listens to their community. And I know I'm not the only one who feels this way. Guys, I am one of you. I often find myself frustrated and ranked whether it's my friends or less often by myself. And I want it to be fun and good too. All good things take time. And hopefully our patience will be rewarded soon. But if it takes too much time, we ride at dawn. Well, that's the Valorant ranked experience. Ew. Ew. That's Pinelon from Genshin Impact. <laughs> Ow. Told you she'd be able to work some, some well, Colton's incredible, right, Colton? Naturally. We ride at dawn. And I have the water. My mom said she could drive us. <laughs> <laughs>